Welcome to the art party hosted by Inside the Orchestra. And um, I hope you have your crayons and your paper ready, or if not crayons, your colored pencils or markers, or just a pencil is fine too. We're gonna do some drawing today. And um, I'm going to play my cello. After I play a piece, then um, we can talk about what, what is it all about. Um, so here we go, and just use your imagination. Okay, kids, what do you think that was? Well, I hope you had some really nice ideas and I'd love to see that sometime and see your pictures. This piece is called Humoresque and it was written by Antonin Dvorak, who was a European who came to America in the 1800s. This piece particularly is about a train ride he had. He really liked to ride trains and he liked to listen to the engine. And back then it had a peculiar sound, which you may not hear on modern day trains, but it would go chugga 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 like that. Like that when the engine would get going and they would get rolling. Um, so it kind of sounds like the beginning. That kind of a rhythm. Now I'm gonna play the beginning and I'd like to see if you can bounce along and pretend you're on a train bouncing because they used to be really bouncy, or you can jump up and down.
right, going on to our next piece. I hope you get add another sheet of paper and get ready to listen and draw. Come out, came up with some really nice ideas in your drawings. To let you know, this piece is called La Cinquantaine, and it means the 50th, and it's short for the 50th wedding anniversary, actually, which is also called a golden anniversary. It's a really festive time. A lot of times they throw a big party, 
So it should be fun. And didn't that sound like a party? I think it sounded pretty festive. I'm sure you guys came up with some nice ideas as well. Um, it's hard to just pinpoint listening to music like, oh yeah, that sounds like a 50th anniversary. But anyway, that's what it is. And um, it did sound really quite happy. And I'd like you to see if this casts a different mood, perhaps. Get out another sheet of paper and get ready to draw your ideas that you get from hearing this nice music. Okay, I hope this puts you in more of a quiet mood. This piece is called Après un rêve. It's actually a song written by Gabriel Fauré, and it has words in French. And it's about after a dream. You ever had a dream and then afterwards you wondered, what was that dream all about? You wake up and you think, well, that was an interesting dream or that was a really nice dream. And then somebody's pulling at you and you have to get ready to go somewhere or get ready for breakfast in a hurry. And then you think, oh, I had a dream. I forgot all about what it was. So, well, this one is about what happened after the dream, trying to think back about it. Come back to me, dream. And anyway, um, doesn't it make you sleepy to hear that piece? It's so slow and uh, in a nice way, just kind of put you to sleep. Let's go on to the next now the next one is really two in one um, you get to hear the first one and then I do the second one and you might think about how is it different from the first one how is it the same and then I go back and do the first one again so you can hear the different sections so it's gonna sound like three different sections and um, I hope you enjoy this one and then we'll talk about it after you draw your next picture hearing this next one
pieces. They were called minuets. I don't know if any of you thought of dancing, but that's what they were. They're um, minuets. It's a type of dance that goes back several hundred years. And um, by the time Bach wrote them, they weren't always danced to. Sometimes they were just played on an instrument. And he wrote these that you just heard, particularly for the cello. And um, do you hear the different parts? There was the part one, it's really happy. And you may have heard me make a little pause between them. I didn't say, da-da, here's the second one. They just kind of went into each other. The first one sounded happy like this. <laughs> sounded kind of dance like make you want to feel light on your feet and dance so those are the two minuets from suite number one by Bach so go ahead and get out your next sheet of paper to do another one and you'll see no tricks here this is about something very particular um, so use your imagination and see what you can come up with with this piece
what did you think? Lovely piece, isn't it? It's called The Swan by a guy named Sanson, a French composer. This piece, The Swan, is part of a larger collection of pieces called The Carnival of the Animals, and it was written for a whole orchestra. And what you didn't hear was the accompaniment. Um, but let me tell you a little bit about a swan, what I like about swans, and I like the way they glide over the water. They're swimming birds, just like other ones, like um, ducks and geese. They like to swim in the water too, and gliding so smoothly. But did you know that underneath they have their legs? We have to remember they have legs and they work really hard. They have these little tiny legs and uh, they paddle real fast under the water. But you don't see all that action when you're looking out onto the shore, do you? It was written with harp and the harp is just goes on and on and on real fast just like the little legs of a swan. So I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, to get out another sheet of paper and uh, draw what you think, what you're thinking about. <laughs> of the six suites by Bach, also like the minuets. So I thought that was a really happy piece. And if I were to draw something, I would probably use color, <laughs> like a rainbow of colors or maybe a bright sun. I wonder what kind of colorful drawing you did, or did you just do something bursting with sunlight? Well, I hope to see yours sometime, and I hope to see you another day at Inside the Orchestra. Thank you.